instead of taking what the word alive has done and trying to build off of that it was more wanting us to just set like this is who the word alive is this is what the word alive is and take that moving forward um to do that we separated both musically lyrically vocally everything um into music and subjects that either mattered more to us that we were more influenced by that felt more personal to us and more um, relative to who we are now as a band and individually um, and to go there we had some uncomfortable hard conversations you know we, we were in the studio and there was times where we just had to have like band only and just like air shit out and um, when you've been a band as long as we have um, and toured pretty much seven to ten months out of the year every year for seven years you're obviously gonna have baggage that's built up um, both you know just internally in your personal life as well as through the band and the experiences that you have together and but um, we just realized that we needed to kind of air all that out and start from scratch if we were gonna if we we're gonna make the best album of our career. Prior to Dark Matter, we um, definitely were more of kind of like an individual, like writers and stuff. We would, um, everyone would have their own ideas and their own demos and stuff, and that's kind of where we would go. But this time we all got together, and I feel like we just wrote from the heart musically you know and then we wanted to make songs that spoke to us personally without lyrics before you know we even did that we just tried to feel the music as best as we could and um, we wrote probably a solid 40 songs um, for Dark Matter and we only recorded 12 so um, we definitely were very picky and uh, we really just tried to we all we all collaborated on everything and uh, took our time we didn't rush anything we had about two months total in the studio and I'd say for about six weeks it was solely just writing and like creating uh, you know we'd have the song and then we just try to make it better and make it to where everyone was happy with every aspect of you know the song in general so I think that's definitely uh, where we kind of came up and that's where that's why Dark Matter is I think gonna be our best album 100% We were supposed to do the album with John Feldman. Uh, we had it booked, um, and but a different project came in that he could not say no to for understandable reasons. As that plan kind of fell apart with doing it in California, Zach um, brought up an alternative and it ended up being what we went yeah. with. And Matt's one of my friends for a long time and um, I had uh, done, you know, been around his studio a bunch and I knew that he had so much potential and just really needed a really good like shot you know to get himself out there and I feel like um, you know we definitely gave him that shot and he proved you know uh, you know 10 out of 10 that he is I think he's about to be like the new big you know the new big dude like in the whole scene producing yeah, wise so I agree for sure he kills it and he's a, musically a genius so he's awesome I remember one of the first things he said to me is I will literally do everything in my power to make sure that this is your your greatest album by far and he was like I will go so far above and beyond to make sure that that is what happens and that's what we needed and that's what we wanted <laughs> It's amazing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like amazing. the best feeling that we're, I like. I know when I'm looking over at everyone while we're playing, like I can just see like the energy is different. It's something that we've never had, and we're enjoying playing the new songs and yeah. playing them together in a way that we've never enjoyed playing any songs uh, on a on a consistent basis. I won't say that we've never had like this level of excitement because we obviously have, but. There's just something different this time around, and I think it is because everything's out there. You know, like everything's out on the table. We have shown all of our cards, and especially on the Dark Matter tour, we're playing seven songs off of the new album. And um, but it's because we believe in it. We believe that whether it's your first time hearing it, if you've never seen the word live, or you've seen us 20 times, 
you still are going to choose us playing this set and these songs um, over maybe your previous favorite songs because they just connect and absolutely and uh, and we're, we're having fun. And I wasn't sure at first, you know, because when you're going out there with brand new material that no one even knows, um, you know. Uh, the crowd doesn't, you know, doesn't know anything, so they're just kind of standing there and listening. But by the end of every song, every new song we play, um, they're either singing along somehow or they're moving, and it's uh, it's been awesome. I'm pretty much like as healthy as I was before the injury in a lot of ways. Um, you know, I was a little bit more out of shape because of basically being bedridden, you know, for a couple months. But um, definitely being on tour, it, it comes right back to you. And um, when you're just in the moment and you're feeling it, like, there's no way I couldn't be myself. There are certain things that I'm not doing, like doing giant stage dives or jumping off balconies. Uh, I, I've toned down that, but... Um, where I've toned down that, I think I've upped my vocal performance it, throughout the set, and I think I'm trying to develop new things that can be just as impactful with the audience um, as me doing that. I still go in the crowd. I, um, I did a backflip the other day just to get the monkey off my back and just be like, okay, I, I still can. Um, and so, but I'm just not doing the giant leap of faith in, uh, in the those jump he did things. when he hurt his back was probably a solid eight foot gap, I'd say. It was it, a big, it was not just like a little stage dive, it was like a running jump, like you got some that, air. That like, was yeah. just to the barrier, was that. And I went yeah. like, it was probably about like 15. It was one hell of a close jump. Close to 20 I'll tell you feet. What, it really I went was, from yeah. the very back corner of the stage, ran as fast as I could, jumped as high and as far as I could. And it, you could tell, because yeah. he got some serious air, so. Yeah, yeah. and it did, it obviously did not feel very good breaking my back, but um, <laughs> it, it's one of those things, it's gonna be like, I feel like a folklore like thing, like later on in our career, that, you know, people are gonna be like, I heard one time, no, that can't be true, you know, like. It's true. Um, but yeah, it, it's very surreal, but I bounced back pretty fast, and I was very lucky to heal um, the way I did. What's up, I'm Zach from The Word Alive. I'm Telly. Subscribe for Louder Noise. The loudest noise on earth. Ever.